About 11 inches of rain fell in eight hours in America's fourth largest city. Vicente Arenas is in Houston. It all began late last night. Rising floodwaters paralyzed traffic for miles along Interstate 10. Hundreds of cars and tractor trailers stranded. By daylight, desperate drivers were still trying to save their cars and themselves. Syreta Cobb was on the highway for seven hours. I opened the door and I saw the water just there and I almost freaked out because I cannot swim. Across the city, 2,500 vehicles were abandoned. At least two people were found dead. And Houston's Mayor Anise Parker fears there could be more. We've got cars littered all over the city. And as the floodwaters go down, that's one of the things we're doing to make sure that no one was trapped in those vehicles. Emergency crews received more than 500 calls for rescues from people fleeing floodwaters surrounding cars and homes. Downtown Houston looked like a lake, water as far as the eye could see. The storm was so bad, fans at the Houston Rockets game were advised to wait out the weather. Dylan Brockmeyer yeah, went to the game. Like they said, stay in your seats so we tell you it's okay. Azra Faruqui found two feet of water in her home this morning. The house is like, my God, unbelievable. Everything has shifted, everything has moved, everything is just like completely destroyed. Underpasses like these fill up fast with water whenever these types of storms pass through. And officers have to block roadways like this because of stalled vehicles. This one at one point was submerged underwater. Scott, people here in Houston are used to heavy rains, but not so much all at once. And we've just received word that a rescue boat has capsized in Houston. Three people missing from that. Vicente, thanks very much.